In this video, you will learn how to calibrate the gas analyzers and also how to start populating some important information into your uh, Douglas Bags data collection form. Some of the important information that you can begin to populate into that form as soon as you come into the lab is your participant stature and mass. You will learn ways to precisely uh, and accurately measure uh, stature and mass in other modules. Therefore, those variables won't be discussed further in this video. However, other important information that you need to know as soon as you come into the lab is the ambient, ambient temperature, the relative humidity, and the barometric pressure. And all the instrumentation to measure these variables is in the corner of the lab. The hydrometer on the wall shows the relative humidity, and at the moment I can see that it's 58%. Next to that is a barometer, which also has a thermometer. Now normally the room is at 21 degrees, we know this because it's air conditioned. However, you still probably want to check and just have a look at the thermometer and make sure it's 21 degrees. Or if not, make sure you record the actual temperature. At the bottom of the barometer is a small river of magnesium. And at the back of that river, if you look from the side, you'll see a small plastic point. What you want to make sure is that the magnesium is just about touching that point. If you need to move it up or down, you can use this, uh, this screw at the bottom and just either loosen or tighten until the pin is just about touching the magnesium. When you've made sure that the pin is touching the magnesium at the bottom of the barometer, then you want to read the pressure in millimetres of mercury from the dial at the top of the barometer. To make this easier, you can scroll the marker down to the point where it's level and then read the pressure off. At the moment, it's 760 millimetres of mercury. Enter your participant's stature and mass in metres and kilograms respectively. And then next to BP MMHG, enter the barometric pressure. Enter the temperature in the appropriate space. And finally, enter the humidity percentage. At this point, you should save the Douglas Bags data collection form and we'll return to this later on. To calibrate the gas analyzers, I need to run through two samples of air with different but no concentrations of carbon dioxide and oxygen. One of these samples of air will be ambient room air, and we know that oxygen accounts for about 20.93%, and that carbon dioxide accounts for about 0.04%. I then have a cylinder of gas, and the concentrations of oxygen and carbon dioxide in there are 16 and 4% respectively. So the first thing I need to do to measure the room air is start the power lap, open the or remove the protective uh, pin from the desk of cartridge and then switch the pump on. The gas analyzer is now analyzing that sample of air and the concentrations of carbon dioxide and oxygen are shown on the screen. Now at the moment Carbon dioxide is reading at about 0.19% and oxygen at about 19.8%. So I know that these values are a little bit out, so they're going to need some adjustments. I'm going to add a marker at this point to make it clear that this is ambient air. Now I need to grab a sample of the air from the cylinder, which has different concentrations. So I'm going to take this small, uh, small sample bag, attach it, open it up, and just collect a small amount of air. I'm going to fold it over so that no air can escape, and I'm going to attach it to the desiccant cartridge. I'm not going to add another comment 
to state that this is 16% um, oxygen. And at that point, I can turn the pump off and stop the power lap. In lab chart, channels 1 and 2 show the traces of carbon dioxide and oxygen respectively. The area which I've shaded on this screenshot shows the point at which I removed the sample bag. Therefore, to the left of the shaded area, I know that carbon dioxide was 4% and to the right of the sh shaded area, I know that carbon dioxide was 0.04%. Highlight this area by left clicking on the mouse and dragging over the entire area. Then select the drop down menu by pressing channel 1 to the far right hand side of the screen. Select Unit Conversion from the drop down menu. In the pop up box, place the cursor on the left hand side of the carbon dioxide trace. Then click the small arrow next to point 1 and then place 4 in the area to the right of this. Then place the cursor to the right hand side of the trace. Click the arrow next to point 2 and place 0.04 in the box next to it, as I've done in this screenshot. Repeat this process for oxygen uptake and you've now calibrated your gas analysers and are ready to move to the next step.